Hi everyone. Today, Physics in the Flesh is going to do a miles to meters conversion. Okay, so this is the problem we need to solve. The sun at perihelion, okay, so when Earth is closest to the sun in its orbit, is 91.4 million miles from Earth. How many meters is this? So we need to express this using powers of 10 and a metric prefix. Okay, we already know powers of 10, and if you're not familiar with that, please check one of my earlier videos on powers of 10 notation. Okay, for a metric prefix, this is referring to something like kilo, milli, nano, giga, tera, those sorts of things. Okay, so how do we express that number in that way? Okay, so we're given a distance, 91.4 million miles, we've got to convert it to meters. Seems pretty straightforward. Okay, so I'm going to give you a method onto solving these types of problems. Okay. For this problem, it's going to seem really straightforward and unnecessary, but this type of unit conversion will really save you in the future when you go to more difficult and complex problems. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and use something called the GRASP method. Okay, sometimes it's called the GRASP method. I call it the GRASP method. Okay, so G R A S P. Okay, so the first thing you do is line up the left column with the words G R A S. Okay. The G stands for given. Okay, so what's given in the problem? Okay, so if you write given, we're given the distance at perihelion, okay, from the Earth to the Sun. Okay, so I'll call that D subscript P equals 91.4 million miles. Okay, R is what's required. So what do you need to find? Okay, we're looking for DP in meters. Okay, so dp in m equals question mark. Okay, a is analysis. That is either a statement or a fact. Usually in these types of questions in physics, it's a mathematical statement that connects the r and the g um, entries. Okay, so what mathematical expression connects meters with miles? Okay, so it turns out that 1610 meters is equal to one mile. Okay, finally S is our solution. The reason I stopped at S is because it's going to be the longest part. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm going to teach you a method onto how to convert from one unit to another that will work in every single situation if you use this process. Okay, so the first thing you do for the S is you write down what you wrote in the G column. Okay, so you're going to write 91.4 million miles. So now remember, million is times 10 to the 6, okay? So instead of writing 91.4 million, I'm going to say 91.4 times 10 to the 6 miles. Okay, so the next step in this trick is to multiply the given number by 1. Okay, so this is a nice way to convert units. Now you might wonder, why would I multiply by 1? Okay, so I've got two reasons for you. The first is, if you multiply by any other number, you're going to change the question, thereby changing the answer and the accuracy. Okay. The second is, well, let's figure out how can we write 1 in a few different ways. Okay. So 1 can be rewritten in a few different ways. If you write it as a fraction, you can write it as 2 over 2, 7 over 7. You might wonder, okay, why am I doing this? This seems like an obvious fact that doesn't need to be stated. But did you ever stop to think that you can write 1 as 100 centimeters over 1 meter? Okay, so this ratio is in fact also equivalent to 1. Why? Because the value in the numerator and denominator are equal. 100 centimeters equals 1 meter. Okay. In this particular problem, we know that 1,610 meters equals 1 mile. Okay, so we can rewrite 1 in the following ways. 1610 meters over 1 mile, which is equal to 1 mile over 1610 meters. Okay, these are both equal to 1. Now the key for you is you have to determine which one of these 1s are you going to use in your calculation. Okay, so I'll show you how to do that as well. Okay, so your next line Rewrite what's given, 91.4 times 10 to the 6, and make absolute sure you keep those units. Do not drop them yet. Okay. Now, instead of writing the times 1, I'm going to write times 
put brackets and draw a line in the middle. So you're writing a fraction, but without actually filling in the numerator and denominator yet. Okay, so at this point you have to ask yourself, okay, I'm trying to get rid of the unit for miles, so I need to divide by miles. If you multiply by miles, you'll get miles squared. Okay, so if I need to divide by miles and I'm trying to achieve the unit of meters, I need to put meters in the numerator. Okay, therefore, this is the version of one that I'm going to use. Okay, so 1610 meters over one mile. Okay, so this is still equal to one, okay, because the top is equal to the bottom, but this allows me to cancel out these two values, okay, leaving me with the unit of meters. Okay, so if you go ahead and enter that in your calculator, you're gonna get a value of 1.47154 times 10 to the 11 meters, okay? Now, again, you have the number, but you're not quite done at this point. Okay, so go back to the original question. Remember, we can only give the answer to the accuracy of what was given to us in the problem. Okay, so we're given three sig figs in the original problem. Therefore, our answer must also have three sig figs. Okay, if we round this to three sig figs, we're going to be left with simply 1.47 times 10 to the 11. That's in meters, do not drop your units. Okay, so Theron solves the problem for question A. Okay, how do you convert 91.4 million miles into meters? Okay, now in case you're wondering, remember how I said this is the formula for grasp? Well, that final P, okay, some people say grass, I use grasp. The final P is your therefore statement. Okay, obviously this problem, you don't really need to state it, but if you're doing this on a test, you want to write your therefore. So therefore, 91.4 million miles equals 1.47 times 10 to the 11 meters. Okay, something to that value. Okay, so that solves part A. Bringing us to part B, how do we express this value as a metric prefix? Okay, so part B, so remember, a metric prefix is things like kilo, nano, micro, giga, tera. Okay, each of those has a different power of 10 notation. So given what we know, which is 1.47 times 10 to the 11 meters, this can be written in two different ways. Okay. You can write it as 1.47 times 10 to the 9. Okay. You can also write it as... Oh, pardon me, 147 times 10 to the 9. You can also write it as 0 0.147 times 10 to the 12. Okay. So if you are not sure how to convert between the original number and these two, please check out one of my earlier videos, Powers of 10 Notation. If you convert the first number, you're going to get 147 gigameters because the prefix giga means times 10 to the 9. If you do your 0 0.147 times 10 to the 12, you're going to have 0 0.147 tera meters. Okay, so I'm sure you hear all the time with the new hard drives coming out, terabyte, gigabyte, okay, tera implies times 10 to the 12. Okay, so there's your ratio there. Okay, so either one of these is acceptable for part B. Okay, so that's it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give that like button a click and subscribe to Physics in the Flesh so you never miss a video. Okay, thank you so much for watching and see you guys later.